To be honest I haven't touched GTK almost like a year now, and I'm not sure if I can commit time for making open source. But it may be possible for some of you. So here are a few apps we miss, they are relatively easy to build, and they definitely have a place in GNOME space. Okay, so your first task is probably the easiest, because the app exists already. It is written on on Rust in GTK3, so you only need to port it to GTK4, and perhaps making a flat pack for it too if possible. Hum, should I remind you that Plasma integrates a system DUI on their settings? Tylix is virtually dead, and console isn't exactly the terminal of our dreams. Luckily for us, VT has already been updated to GTK4. You only need to build it with GTK4 flag. And then you can generate the Rust bindings. The gear documentation is simply excellent. And again, it is totally unacceptable Plasma having a better terminal app than GNOME. And we're coming to the main event, because I only recently I discovered we are so beyond face recognition. So when we are watching like 100 different animes inside a week, it is very normal to forget characters. And we can't expect nothing less by our video player than to recognize them. At the moment we should follow this pathetic process of taking a screenshot, and then paste it on a web browser, so we can use Google Lens to identify the character. Wouldn't be totally awesome if we could make that only by using GNOME tooling?